All right, it is 9.54, and I got out of this trade a little too early because I just kind of got thrown off with how weird it was trading, but TXTM is a very weird stock. I had a trade with it, and I never liked it too much because it would just look so weird on the 15-minute, 20-day chart, and the idea with this one is that it had an uptrend, and then it kind of came back, but it was able to hold the one penny level, which is a very psychologically important number and it had this dip and i thought maybe it can continue and maybe get to this um 11 level which will be breaking past this level right here after it made a high right here that was past it so it could be like a confirmation that it's going to hold above a penny and once it breaks this 11 level it could have more perhaps momentum it could have more strength and it can uptrend over a longer period of time and i liked how it was also just trading back and forth holding above that one penny level and then once we started to see a break past vwap i thought you know now the momentum is towards the bulls and this could be a potential setup so i got fifteen thousand shares and it was actually so quick that you can see my entry and my exit at the same um i don't know what you call it time and sales table right here Literally, I was in right here at um, 107, 35, 15,000 shares, and then I got out at um, 11, 1 at, you know, that same amount of shares, 954 I was out. I just didn't like how, when I got in the setup here at 953, at 107 is when I got in right here. I didn't like how we just shot up because somebody just bought a whole bunch of shares and it just shot the price up. I never wanted to do something like that i always wanted to be more of a slow but solid uptrend that can continue over a longer period of time so when it just shot up like this because it was a whole bunch of volume i didn't like it maybe i could have sold half of my position when it was trading all weird and then still have the other half and then i would be probably watching how um, we can continue to ideally break this 11.4 level and then see how it does with the day high 11.5 and you know try to keep looking at the setup and seeing how it plays and again I got out at 9.54 the next minute because of that weird price action at 11.1 so I got out right here my entire position and right now it's still trying to hold itself together I also got out because it was like a very very large seller that appeared at the ask which was an ideal that you know you just see so much volume it pushes the price up so much and then a huge seller shows up and the next candle it opens a bit lower than where it closed so that was the case with that this thing can't continue to work out maybe it won't but i just got thrown off by the weird price action and that's really about it i was looking at cmgr for a morning panic bounce play it didn't really much it didn't offer much of a opportunity and um Man, this one, I mean, I wonder what it'll do. LCOP is up a lot. Maybe this can be like a bull flag. I'll be watching this if it can break this 40 sub penny level. And as you can tell right now, there's a humongous seller. So this is probably what I'm going to be looking at now. If we can break past that big seller and everything, maybe that can let it go much higher. Maybe that's why it hasn't been uptrend anymore after it had a morning spike. Maybe if we were to break that, it can... Um, continue the uptrend maybe that's what's keeping it from doing it it might fail but i'll be watching this to see if we can break past 40 and i'll make an update later it is 10 15 i've been watching lclp for a while and i do have an interest but i just hate how every single level there seems to be a big wall of sellers i thought maybe at the 42s there was a point where i could have bought at 42 but i saw a big group of sellers at 43 and now that we see 43 at the ask, I thought, okay, well, this is when I would like to see a break pass because there was a lot of people there at 43 here. And now we see the next level, which is 44, and we have a million share seller at 44. We do have a big bidder at 40, so it's not horrible, but I don't like how there are just sellers at every single level. And it's probably just because of the fact that this thing potentially has a lot of bag holders anyway from... You know, all of this time period here, it's been just downtrending. So, unfortunately, it could do it. But I just think the odds are not as nice as some of the other setups I've seen like this. It still looks like a bull flag or... I guess you can even call it 
an ascending triangle it's not perfect but i don't know something like this right and then if you do something off of these lows like maybe this can be eventually an ascending triangle but yeah unfortunately there are just a lot of sellers and it doesn't seem like if we were to break for example 43 there would be a massive amount of buying price action to break it past the 44s and then the 45 so i'll continue to watch it i don't mind if i miss out on this setup just because of how weird it's trading and how many sellers there are this one did continue to get higher it did get as high as 11.8 which was pretty impressive and again my buy was here at 10.7 and then i sold at 11.1 so there was definitely room for opportunity i could have sold half of my position it's just that when so much volume happens it makes me feel like it's not very justified and then it's going to head right back under which it, i mean it kind of did but it didn't get down that low so yeah i could have sold it in two pieces maybe you know one half at 11 one and then the other maybe i would have sold at 11.5 because i would have been worried about it not being able to break the day high and then that, that would make it a nice better average at roughly 11.3 and you know that wouldn't be too bad so yeah that's pretty much it i'll continue to watch lclp i just don't like how many sellers there are at the ask okay it is 852 and i am here to call it off overall i just had one trade and i'm gonna be up on the day five dollars and 47 cents trading txtm and that was way back here in the beginning let me get rid of extended hours to make it a little clearer again my buy was right around here and i sold right into this move right here and it was impressive because it uptrended and then it held VWAP at a higher level than here. And then it made another move towards this 13 level, which was pretty impressive. So there was definitely a lot of room for improvement. I'm not really at that point yet, but it is something that I do try on some setups where I'm in the setup. I sell half on the uptrend and then the other half I try to wait for it to ideally make a higher low off of the previous level and then maybe sell that. At a higher price if it can do something like that so there was definitely room with this and i could have again maybe sold half at um 11 one and then the other at 11 five or something like that and that would have actually um been a lot nicer but that's fine it just you know was just weird to have a whole bunch of volume show up at once there wasn't really anything else lcop i was watching it there were just too many sellers at the ask so it eventually failed and downtrended more and there was no more setups afterwards and yeah that's pretty much it for today just had that one trade there that i could have done a lot better but at least i got shaken off just because of the volume it wasn't because i was you know um t too crazy about it um again it was just because of that big volume but that's something i've been trying to do selling in two pieces that's all i have for today